Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I actually tried to do like a YouTuber setup today. I don't know how it's going. I finally bought a new ring light because mine has been broken for like 30 years. But yeah, yay new equipment. But okay, let's just like not ignore the elephant in the room. And that's this video, honestly, like just the title, the everything. I came up with this idea because I was at Barnes and Noble and I saw like the classic, like, you know, like spicy books that are like borderline like smut. Um, um, with like the little animated covers and just the very cheesy titles and stuff. And I had the idea, I was like, for a video. For a video. And at first I was like, no, this is too off-brand for me, but then I was like, is it? Why do I keep doing that? Like, I did the reacting to Shifting Stories video, like, what's so different? Like, what's the difference, you know? It's like basically the same thing, except now I won't get, like, death threats in the comments of people being like, read my story, like, please read my story, like, I, I they shifted to Hogwarts, like, read my story. Anyways, it's like 10 o'clock, and I have school tomorrow, and all of today I've been reading The Great Gatsby, which is, like, what we're reading right now. I mean, compared to other books we've read in school, it's not that bad, but, like, the 1920s, I just, I can't act like that was a good time, you know? So I wasn't feeling that too much, but then I went to Barnes & Noble and I saw the books with the spicy covers, and I was like, I'm feeling this. You know, if I seem a little weird or like off, it's because it is abnormally late at night. Okay, it's like 10 o'clock, like I'm being dramatic, but when I've been up since like 5 o'clock this morning, it's basically 3 a.m., you know. Now let's flash back to my little Barnes and Noble run. I think it was an interesting experience. There were technically two Barnes and Noble runs, but more on that in a second. The lighting is awful. It's nighttime. It's before nine. I'm still driving legally. Do not worry. I am in front of Barnes & Noble right now, and I've got a many little adventures out in public by myself, but I'd say that this is the one that I'm most ashamed of. Me from the future is already explaining that, you know, what we're doing. I'm not going to say it again because, once again, not my proudest moment, but I'm going into Barnes & Noble right now, and I'm going to get the most cheesiest, corniest, the ones with, like, the animated covers, you know? Like, we know what I'm talking about, so why am I even speaking? Okay, so I think I'm in the right section, and, okay, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I've actually seen this one. Should I get it? Like, just, like, the really corny covers. Why am I gonna be dropping a bag on this video? Like, for what? I think I'm finding some good things. Very cheesy covers. Okay, and you're supposed to be like quiet in a bookstore slash library, so that's what I'm doing. Hope you can still hear me. Finding some very cheesy ones. I think I already just said that. The neighbor favor. <laughs> oh my God, not Colleen Hoover. This girl. Oh, these are so funny, like a dash of salt and pepper. I'm just like incapable of taking romance seriously, so. <laughs> In real life and in literature. LOL. Okay, I don't know, like, what's wrong with me? Okay, I think I found my things. I don't know why I'm vlogging in public so confidently. Like, who am I? Probably because there's nobody around you. Okay, I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself and just buy these books. Okay, let's go. Husband material. Sorry, oh my god. Without merit. The wedding date. King of wrath. If you ask me, oh my god, I need to leave. Oh my god. Okay, literally, I don't know what's wrong with me, but for some reason, when I was checking out, there's gonna be, like, music playing in a second, so let me just go ahead and turn it down for it, like, Jump scares all of us. For some reason, when I was checking out, I was like, "There, like, I just cannot have this cashier thinking that I'm buying these books for myself. Like, why did I just randomly lie?" And I was like, "Oh my god, yeah, like, I'm buying these books for my friends, and like, she loves romance books because I just like don't want her thinking that I'm buying this for myself. Like, that's so awkward." I'm just looking for like a birthday gift for my friend. Uh -huh. She's like into romance books, yeah. and I was wondering like for the return policy, uh -huh. like if she doesn't like one of them, would I be able to bring it back? Yes, I can give you a gift. Receipt. I'm also I'm at a stoplight like in the parking lot, so I'm not like vlogging while driving. Okay, I. I I just need to tell you this real quick. Yeah, and then also I was like, oh, can I have a gift receipt too? Because I was like, oh my God, I'm returning these. So I don't know if it's bad to use Barnes & Noble as like a library. Like, don't sue me. Is this my school parking tag? Don't expose me. Barnes & Noble as a library. I mean, this video is for research purposes though. So this is like a school project, you know? Also, I was taking a voice memo when I randomly said my lie. So I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, it is Barnes & Noble hall time. Number one, I've seen this book before. I've heard about it from somewhere. Icebreakers. You have your classic... Why is my ring light? Hello? Do I have to do the YouTuber thing where I have to like put my hands up? The classic hockey love story. That's what I'm assuming. Let's, should we read the back of each one? Okay. Anastasia Allen, or is it Anastasia? Like the makeup brand? I don't know. Anastasia Allen has worked her entire life for a shot at Team USA. It looks like everything's going according to plan when she gets a full scholarship to the University of California. Congrats. And lands a place on their competitive figure skating team. Nothing will stand in her way. Not even the captain of the hockey team. Nate Hawkins. Sorry, I promise I'm not gonna read in this voice the entire time. Nate's focus as team captain is keeping his team on the ice, which is tricky when a facility's mishap means they are forced to share a rink with the figure skating team. I think I know where this is going. I'm already regretting this video. Also, I got my gift receipt because I'm returning these books. We already talked about it. Okay, so apparently she clearly cannot stand him. But for some reason, I have a sneaking suspicion they're gonna fall in love. I don't know. What do you guys think? When Anastasia's skating partner faces an uncertain future, she may have to look to Nate to take her shot. 
sparks fly, but Anastasia isn't worried because she could never like a hockey player, right? right? See, like, Great Gatsby's, like, 1920s, like, mysterious rich man throwing a bunch of parties doesn't interest me. Figure skater and team captain of hockey team, it, yeah, it's like, suddenly I'm interested. I'm more interested in the cringe, like, we need a good laugh today. Okay, let's, like, not take 10 years on this. Second book is Love. Theoretically, let's like read through this one faster. The many lives of theoretical physicists, not the physicists. Is this gonna be like a nerd love story? Okay, by day she's an adjunct professor toiling away at grading labs and teaching ther thermodynamics in the hopes of landing tenure. Elsie makes up for her non existent paycheck by offering her services as a fake girlfriend, tapping into her expertly honed people pleasing skills to embody whichever version of herself the client needs. Honestly, a bag is a bag. Honestly, it's a pretty sweet gig until her carefully constructed Elsie verse comes crashing down because Jack Smith, the annoyingly attractive and arrogant older brother of her favorite client turns out to be a cold-hearted experimental physicist. I feel like a physicist is a red flag, like, and he's the same Jack Smith who rules over the physics department at MIT. Not that Jack Smith. Oh, and he's standing right between Elsie and her dream job. Mm -mm -mm. Elsie's prepared for an all-out war of scholarly sabotage, but those long penetrating looks Get your scholarship, no, no. Honestly, eye on the prize, get your scholarship. No Jack Smith allowed in this house. Though I have a feeling it's not what happens in this book. Will falling into an experimentalist orbit finally tempt her to put her most guarded theories on love into practice? I don't know about this one. Okay, then we're saving the best for last. When I say best, I mean this is like the what? Stuff that we're looking for, you know? Take the lead. Gina Morales wants to make it big. In her four seasons on the dance-off, she's never even made it to the finals. But her latest partner, the sexy stuff of an Alaskan wilderness show could be her chance. Who knew the strong, silent survivalist type had moves like that? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. She thinks Stone Nielsen is her ticket to win it all until her producer makes it clear they're being set up for a showmance. <gasps> okay, that's actually kind of a good plot twist. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Joining a celebrity dance competition is the last thing Stone wants. However, he'll endure anything to help his family, even as he fears revealing their secrets. But they're gonna fall in love anyway, like do I even need to continue reading this? Here's the thing, this is not gonna be a 36 hour video of me just reading all three of these books to you. I don't think I have the energy for that and I don't think you do either. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? Random number generator. Okay, first let's do one through three for which book we're starting on. This is one, two, and then three. So we're reading three first, okay, take the lead. And now we're gonna do, well, how many pages are in this book? There's a bonus scene at the end. 350 is our limit and we're just gonna generate a random page. This may be the worst video idea I've had ever, like just turning to random pages in romance books and reading them, like I don't know where that came from, but here we are, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, maybe you should stick with vlogging. Okay. 228. Shall we do the honors? I have a feeling we just turned to a really good spot. Stone's anxiety deepened as they approached Nielsen HQ headquarters. Gina wore hiking boots this time and they took the clearer path, but he still stayed close. It would suck if you busted an ankle, he pointed out. She gave him a half smile. Jordy stopped them before they entered the clearing to give them their instructions. I'm assuming that Jordy's like some sort of manager, producer person. Just context clues, just... English class things. Gina, we're going to introduce you to the Nielsen's in groups. There are too many of them for the cameras to catch everything. Make sure the cameras can get your reactions. Okay, but the thing about these books that I think makes them like super, I guess, entertaining is they're like so simply written. It's really predictable. It's me after reading a paragraph. The cameras panned out and Jordy gave them the go ahead. Stone's stomach clenched as it finally hit that he was bringing the woman he loved to meet his parents on camera. God, could his life get any weirder? He forced a smile onto his face and put an arm around Gina, leaning her forward. This reminds me of Katniss and Peta and Catching Fire when they have to do like little interviews and like fall in the snow awkwardly and they're like, We've never been closer thanks to the generosity of the capital, you know? Thanks to the generosity of the capital, we've never been closer. A chill raced down his spine as he spotted Jimmy and Pepper. What is it with these names? All this time he'd only thought about hiding the truth about Nielsen's from Gina and the dance-offs producers. Keeping his relationship with Gina hidden from their castmates was hard, but... Hiding it from his mom? The woman read him like an open book. She knew and she had questions and then Gina was going to kill him. Wait, are they like actually in a relationship but they're like faking it? And the whole thing is they don't want people to know that they're faking it but in reality they don't want people to know that they're actually in love. Each step amplified his terror. His parents waited beaming big smiles. Why is this the thing that he's most nervous about? Isn't he going out to do like a dance competition? Like let's think about the choreography. Let's think about stretching. Let's not think about like showing the woman I love to my mom. Okay. Gina returned their smiles with a wide toothy grin of her own. He caught Jordy's hand signal. Crap, was he supposed to say his line? He hated this shit. Okay, I'm kind of gonna skip ahead of it because I'm a little like just a little bit bored Stone made a show of looking around. Where are the others? Oh, they went off on the boat off on the boat meant They were hiding off camera somewhere until they could be brought in for filming So they have like code words like what is this all for again? Oh, he's helping his family to do what I don't know, but good for you stone 
Jimmy continued, they should be back soon, Gina. Would you like a tour of Nielsen headquarters? It ain't much, but it's our humble little slice of freedom. I don't know why they're acting like they're in a dystopian movie or something, and they're like hiding from something. They're like, it's not much, but it's our little slice of freedom. Like you are doing this to yourself. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit and start somewhere random. Is this entertaining? I don't know. Mikael rolled his eyes, but gave him the go ahead. Jimmy turned to stone immediately on be taken to acting better than any of them better than stone had certainly is who is jimmy is jimmy the dad who is that i'm like low-key questioning if this video is gonna make it to the internet but we'll just we'll just keep rolling i'll just i'll probably regret this when i'm you know off in the boat when the cameras are off when i'm not filming okay let me act normal for, sorry like lost my page but let me act normal for like two minutes okay let's go like towards the end of the chapter if he could get through the next few hours he could get back to what now passed for normal in his life learning to dance jimmy went off to charm gina and pepper came over to stand at stone sets Stone side. So Stone, what's going on with you and Gina? His mother asked, crossing his arms. Sh this book has said it like four times already. No, his mother has not just said that on camera, except he turned to see her smiling at him with no fewer than three cameras surrounding them. Gina was going to flip out. We're dance partners. His voice came out a low rumble, edging toward a growl. This is how I imagine it. Okay, let me do like a reenaction of the scene. So Stone, what's going on with you and Gina? Mom, shut up, we're dance partners. Okay, the mom's not falling for it. Stone, I'm not stupid. I know there's something between you two. You can tell me. He shrugged. Nothing to tell. God, he was such a terrible liar. Wait, whose perspective is this told in? I'm like judging this book and I don't even know who the narrator is. Stone took the opportunity to get away from his mother, but this exchange was going to end up in the behind the scenes package. He just knew it. Maybe there would be enough other useful footage. Maybe one of his brothers would do something so outrageous and embarrassing that would be the focus instead. He could hope, and in the meantime, he wasn't going to tell Gina until he knew it was a problem. I kind of just want to skip ahead to this bonus scene. Okay, let's just go like to the end because I hope like usually the last like two pages are like really fun. Hold on, this gives us some context. I love Alaska and I want to do my part to preserve its beauty and culture between climate change and people trying to explore its resources. There's a lot to protect. So he did this whole dance competition to save Alaska. Oh, okay, so they do end up together. Okay, wait, here's some context. His expression turned pensive. You know, when I went back, I realized that while I love the place, my image of life in Alaska wasn't real. Living wild was a lie and the life I had in Juno doesn't exist anymore. I was fooling myself. Okay, do you want me to like make my little predictions and my inferences and what happened? Okay, so I think that he's a part of this like Alaska show, whatever. And through doing this dance competition, he's realizing how fake TV is and how like he wasn't even seeing the real version of Alaska. And now he's like, I'm moving back with Gina. This has potential to be my worst video and I'm like, he cups her face and looked deep into her eyes. You're worth it, Gina. The words and the little growl in his voice made her heart do a backflip. See, this is what I hate about these books. Like the like the detail is so awkward. Like and the little growl in his voice. Like how did you want me to read this? Like there's like the little growl in his voice. Like you know, like like you like that, Gina. This is my audition for a Demi Gorgon in the next season of Stranger Things. You can give her a light kiss. It doesn't matter where we are, New York City, Alaska, or Los Angeles. I'll be happy anywhere as long as I'm with you. She hugged him tight. Huh? Never mind. Kiss me. He did. And then it ends. Oh, then there's the epilogue. But like, do we care? I don't think so. On a spiciness level, not too bad. On a cheesy level, 10 out of 10. No, honestly, on a cheese level, this is the Kraft grilled cheese. Cheese that comes in the plastic wrap. That's what I would rate this. Oh my god, my foot fell asleep and it's like, it's like, do I move? Like, is that gonna make you feel better? Or, sorry, I literally just had to take like a five minute break because, okay, it was not five minutes, it was like two and a half. My foot fell asleep like really bad, but take the lead. It happened. We're gonna do our little number generator again. So I need a one through three, we'll answer three again. We're just gonna re-spin it. Okay, one. It's hockey time. Okay, so we're moving from dancing to hockey. Now, okay, there's 425 pages in this book. So let's give it a good little shuffle. Honestly, I hope it does one like either like towards the very end or towards the very beginning, but let's see. Okay. Okay, 24. We're still like in the exposition, the rising action. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit up this page of 23 because we need context. His smile widens when he realizes he's got me. Okay, yeah, I can work with that. It sucks practice was canceled, but if you enjoy the moment, you're hanging out with me and I'm great. Wait, what? Folding my arms across my chest, I try my hardest to stop the smile threatening to break through, continuing to pretend he's not having any impact on my mood. Hmm, she says. Tough crowd, geez. As soon as we get out of here, I'll take you for food and later, and there's a hockey party we can hit to let you blow off all your stressy energy. I don't think people talk like this in real life. Like, I, have someone ever come up to you and been like, like, there's a party, like, we can blow all your stressy energy, you know? What else? I let him spin me back around now that we're only a few people away. I'll take you home and let you... Oh, here we are. Finally getting into the room and his hands stay on my shoulder. I'll take you home and let you take out any remaining stress on my body. Am I gonna get demonetized?
My fingers sink into my tense muscles, rhythmically working out every night as I roll my head from side to side. Will you dress up as Harley Quinn too? <laughs> this is just from turning to a random page decided by a number generator. If this is what we're already getting, like what does this entire book look like? I honestly don't think I want to know, but okay, it's fine, we'll keep going. So now we're apparently at an, in an awards room. Ignoring my immediate concern, Ryan insists I enjoy the moment, which roughly translates to me being forced to sit with the basketball team. So now I'm wedged between Ryan and Mason Wright, his teammate, who make my respectful five foot four inch body look like an overgrown toddler guys i'm so sure chip question mark i struggle to look at the bag of lays being shoved under my nose but they smell like barbecue flavor which ryan knows is my favorite i'm good thanks is this like a lay sponsorship could you imagine it's like he knows it's my favorite by the way use code What's her name? Oh, is it Anastasia? Use code Anastasia for 30% off your next chip lay Lay's chips order. I get chips, I ask for Lay's. Throwing himself back into the seat with a huff, he holds out a packet. Cookie? Maybe I just turned to a random page, but like, what is this unnecessary dialogue? Like, I don't see how offering her various types of food is just gonna like advance the plot, you know? No, thank you. I'm not hungry. I'm just trying not to draw attention to us again, but it's hard to ignore the look of disappointment on his face. Don't look at me like that. Regionals are right around the corner. I can't gain weight. This is like so cliche to the point where I'm like cringing really bad and it's like it's always something It's always like it's regionals coming around and honestly like I'm a food girly Like if somebody asks me for a cookie, I'm not gonna be like no thank you like get, yes Ryan slouches in his seat so our heads are at level and he leans in to give us more privacy He breath dances across my skin as his lips hover beneath my ears sending a wave of goosebumps across my entire body Like this is not the type of imagery that I want, you know I want like a good way to describe a pretty field like the ocean splashed against the sand and the clouds moved. I don't need, like, he breath dance. No. Stop. You know, okay. Okay, I kind of want to generate another number because this is not going anywhere. 357. Okay, that's good. We need we needed a good high number. Okay, so this is from Nathan's perspective. Is this Nate the captain? Honestly, whenever I'm reading a book and they're switching perspectives and it gets to, like, a man's perspective, I'm, like, asleep. Just giving all the hot takes in this video. It is currently 11.02. Pushing the door open, really the one person I'm not expecting to bump into is my dad. It sounds silly to say you bumped into somebody in your own house, but he's never home. I suspect he hasn't noticed me too busy and gross in whatever he's reading, but then he speaks. What time are you leaving? A couple of hours. I like her. She's strong-willed. She reminds me of your mom when I first met her. I'm like skipping around. I don't know what's going on. That's what happens when you don't read the book. She called your grandfather a pig-headed misogynist once, you know? He smiles, and for the first time in so long, it feels genuine. To his face as well, I almost choked on my drink. I was mortified, and when we argued about it, she challenged me to prove he wasn't a pig-headed misogynist we are reading two very different parts of a book okay okay we're skipping ahead a few pages because it looks like there's some fighting some beef anastasia he's been vile to you he's a liar and a bully you don't need him i think the guy said that yeah i'm more than aware it plays on lube in my head but i'm not suggesting i'm friends with him and i do need him he's my skating partner and unless i want to start from scratch which after two years of pain i'm not prepared to do i need to find a way for the two of us to work together again i freaking hate this i know you do bub Stop with the nicknames. Okay, and I love how protective you are, but living here was always supposed to be temporary. Do you know how hard it is to be spending every second with you knowing you're leaving me in six months? Wait, where is he going? I'm just thinking about the cashier at Barnes & Noble. Like, little does she know that I'm going home to make this video. Okay, yeah, so he's leaving. Playing hockey again should be music to my ears, but in reality, it feels like she's slipping away. Slipping through the fingers of time. So we're not going to be skating together and you're moving out, I snap. Will I just be a Thursday night hookup then? When you can't make time for me and your planner? Honestly, like, yeah, you are a part of the planner. Like, she has a schedule. She's booked and busy. Sorry if Thursday night's the only night that she has open. It, hold on, I'm, like, bleeding. That was, like, really random. Sorry, I just, like, started bleeding. There was, like, a scab on my elbow and suddenly it was just, like... Hello. Are we done with this one? Honestly... <laughs> We have one left, and it is the physicist nerd romance one. Wait, at the end it says some people pair wine with cheese. I pair Taylor Swift songs with chapters in my books. This was written by a millennial. <laughs> so I feel like I'm just being so unhinged, if you will, in this video. Okay, look, how many pages are in this? 395. Okay, give us a good one, please. So hopefully this is like at the peak. Oh, it's at the start of a new chapter. Okay, which Taylor Swift song is this? It's chapter 19, so king of my heart. Okay, on Friday night, I wear a dress. Nothing fancy, it's a cable knit sweater dress. I pair it with one lipstick, my one tube of mascara, my one eye pencil, my one pair of thigh highs. What is the emphasis on the word one? What is the significance of this? I curl my hair all on my own. It's impressive, you don't have a glam team like most people. Cursing softly whenever I burn the side of my head so Cece won't hear, okay. This is such an M. Night Chalamet plot twist. She tells me from the kitchen where she's pouring milk into a bowl. Do you see dead people? Oh my God, am I dead? Shut up, I dress up all the time. She waves her spoon at me, not for dates. Actually, not for real dates with your professional arch nemesis and brother of the guy you used to fake date who you wish would 
and current death by paper cuts. This is honestly a good level of cheese. I didn't rate this one because this one is just like moldy cheese, but like five peppers on the spiciness scale. This, I'm getting some good like cheesy movie vibes. Like she comes down and she's dressing up for a date and the roommate is like having a night in, but the roommate's like, oh my God, am I seeing dead people? Like you're dressed up. And she's like, shut up. Like I just have a date. Oh, but we turn to a good part in the book though. Like this is like, she's going out with her arch nemesis. Ouch, will you have me now? Ready to call law enforcement if you're not back by 8.30? May I have always wanted to report a missing person. She holds the spoon like a phone. No officer, she didn't have any enemies, but she was part of a weird sectarian conflict that only someone with a doctorate in physics could fully grasp. Okay, wait, so then the guy comes to pick her up and her phone rings. Okay, wait, in my defense, I pick up assuming it's Jack calling to say that he's late or that I'm late or that someone hammered him in the frontal lobe and the resulting brain injury helps him realize that he doesn't want to see me ever again. This is what I hate about the nerd movies because it's like, they can't just be like, oh my God, I like you. It's like, my quantum physics heart explodes for you. Oh, then she answers the phone. Elsie, finally, you need to come home right now. Mom? Lance is now Dana and Lucas punched him after the soccer game everyone saw. What is this like side plot? Oh God. We do not care. Okay, then they start talking about dysfunctional families. Okay, we're reading this last page and then throwing these books away. Just kidding, we're returning them. That was, I clear my throat, honest. He's quiet for a moment and then nods. It's what I want to be with you and I'm sorry I lied. It's okay. This one's, I clear my throat. The other ones I could piece together context, but I don't know what's going on. I'm here, Jack says, we're alone in this hallway, me and him. Just the two of us in any way that matters. But take your time, Elsie. I'll wait for as long as it takes. Did an hour ago. Maybe it's a little La La Land ending where like she gets the job and then they're like, we're not gonna be together. I don't know and I don't care. Anyways, I'm sorry you had to witness this video. I'm sorry to film it. I'm sorry you had to go out and buy these books and actually make this happen because maybe it'll see the light of the day on the internet. But if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, also give this video a thumbs up. I post every Friday, so subscribe. Okay, I feel cringy saying the YouTuber things because you know, it's not 2014. But anyways, have a good day. Let me know your thoughts on these books. If this is like one of your favorite books and I just came and trashed on it, I'm sorry. But you can have it. It's all yours. Okay, bye. Have a good day and don't get into a relationship with a physician, a physicist. <laughs>